She's so tight. I'm training in football. Yeah, exactly. Oh okay, guys, grab a partner. It doesn't matter who. We're going to be switching up lots and start pushing on your partner only. So, again, I'm going to interject just every time after we start these drills. Again, how is this relatable to working dogs and decoying dogs? Good morning, everybody. Um, we got a seminar today. Uh, it's the morning time. It's raining a little bit, but the weather's supposed to clear up. But we have um, a ton of stuff going on. We have my boy, Lucas, from Aegis MMA. Um, and we got some really fun things planned for our decoy attendees. So I made a post uh, a couple months ago about doggy jujitsu, kind of just offhanded and kind of trying to be funny. Uh, <laughs> and um, got some, some uh, people's feathers all ruffled. So um, today we're actually gonna put some decoys in a suit and um, make them kind of do some combat sport things. So other than it being just fun to do for some of our new decoys, well, they're all pretty green decoys. Um, the, the other really cool thing is that with combat sports, um, so many things run parallel to decoying and working dogs, right? Um, obviously they're both kind of full contact sports, uh, but w what's really important in one is also really important in the other, right? So we have, you know, timing. Timing is super important for both of those things. Um, you know, body control, super important for both of those things. Balance, super important. Um, a ton, you know, being comfortable with being uncomfortable, very important. Working on the ground, very important, right? So there are a ton of these parallels um, and these exercises uh, kind of were put together so that we can get decoys in sometimes uncomfortable positions uh, without having dogs on them, right? Um, once, you know, especially when you're, they're really, really green decoys and we put dogs on them, everything that we've taught uh, kind of goes out the window because they have to get over that initial shock phase of, oh shit, there's a dog biting me. Well, we've kind of tried to come up with these things so we can get them in those uncomfortable positions without the actual threat and adrenaline dump of, oh, there's a dog biting me and I can't think right now, right? So um, I hope you guys enjoy. We're going to cut right to it and uh, Lucas will take it from here. So some of these might put you out of your comfort zone. I don't care, that is the point of it, right? So we're gonna have some fun. Um, we're gonna be wrestling today and we're gonna understand a bit of you know that idea. So what we're gonna get you guys to do is anybody who's participating in this, we're gonna get you guys to actually suit up and we're gonna do everything in the suit. So let's uh, get those suits on and we will get to work right away, guys. something out of this the idea in this drill is Robin is a turtle I use this turtle drill for the kids so to be honest that's why it's called turtle um this is her shell my job is to get Robin on her shell so now I have to start understanding how to move weight and she has to understand how to keep her balance while this is happening okay here's the rules though I can't hit her even if it seems fun okay I can't be pulling her hair even if that seems fun I have to grab and try and pull her to her shell if she gets on her back 
I win. Okay? <laughs> so she is gonna turtle. I will help you guys as we go on ways to balance from a you know fighting know MMA perspective on that. But for now, she's in turtle position. I can grab, twist, pull, okay? Start playing with her legs, whatever I want. Make sense? Okay, guys, get a partner. Let's go. No. No. <laughs> Just starfish. Interject just every time after we start these drills. Again, how is this relatable to working dogs and decoying dogs? So we have some opposition, right? We're working opposition. What else though? Dogs pushing, dogs can be pulling, knowing how to operate your body and your mechanics in those moments and it can change like that with a dog, right? So really work this through. Again, it's the hardest part about new decoys is not necessarily understanding the principles and everything. It's getting over the shock value of a dog is on me, right? So now we can work these things without a dog being on you. And then when we put a dog on you, all of you can shit the bed anyway. So whatever. <laughs> okay, have fun. Let's go. You won't win yet. You'll win in the next Marco's one. just trying to win. <laughs> Cheer him on. What he said about your mom. <laughs> Kelsey, she said Charlie sucks. Okay. Time <laughs> of the ring, so to speak. So everyone is going to start with whoever they're with. If I'm with Robin, and for whatever reason I get lucky and I dump her on her ass, I win that round, she's out. I will find the next available person that won, and we go. I dump them, they're out. So we're going to go until there is literally two people, and we're going to see who the champ is. You have to keep the grips? You have to keep the grips. We're not grip fighting Miss Jiu Jitsu. Okay? Sorry, can you have to say that a little slower in here? No if you put your leg there. Yeah, guys, grab a quick drink of water, and then we will do the, the king or queen of the What did you say? Your partner, if you get swept and you're put on your back, you are out, and you just find the next person. We'll find out who the, the winner is. <laughs> Okay, let's go! Are you guys busy yet? Ah! <laughs> let's go, Hannah! Hannah, smash it! Let's go, Hannah! Hannah, if you need him, it's okay. Ah! Oh so, so, we're down! Robin 
trying to grab my arm. She grabs it. Oh, pulls me. She wins. Good for her. Okay? I feel like I'm dealing with a puppy. Just let you win. Okay, guys. So, with your partner, have fun with it. Let's get going. Let's see who the remaining champion is. Make sense? Guys, anything touches but hands and feet, you're out. You don't want to be on your knees. I've never seen that. I'm gonna give you guys a drink. Kelsey has grass on her forehead from the shoe. <laughs> it's a four-leaf clover, at least. Now, I'm not gonna pick on any group, but a lot of you.